My name is Ryan Turner. I work as a geotechnical engineer at the Barrett Gold and Sunlight Mine here in uh, Montana and the United States. I work as the underground geotechnical engineer, so my job is to make sure that the underground workings are stable and they don't fall down on the miners. For geotechnical, the main challenges at the mine are going into these areas where we don't have very much information and trying to figure out if they're stable or if they're going to cause problems and possibly release material onto our equipment or onto our miners, or if they release material and we lose our resource because it becomes diluted. Those, those are some of the big challenges that we face here. These last three days have been really actually pretty incredible because it was about a year ago that we started really looking at underground drone use. And we've seen a lot of different applications, a lot of different types of drones. And these last three days, a year ago, I would have said it was impossible. You know, from what, how easily you guys are flying into these hazardous areas and you're getting your drone back. We've lost a lot of drones underground. And for us to have five drones underground in the last three days and for us to not lose any of them, that's, that's really saying something. Starting on day one, we flew into a stope. It was an area that we wanted to investigate to, to see how much overbreak had occurred along the ore body because we saw a significant amount of dilution in our ore recovery. And so when we flew it with the Helios 2, we were able to see a lot of the structures that were releasing material, particularly on the western rib where a large slab had come out. So that, that imagery looked really good. Day two, we flew extensively in the 480 stope from the 50-50 level. And uh, we, we were able to look into that area, investigate where the overbreak was occurring on both sides of the stope. And we could see where large boulders had released down to the levels below. We were able to go down directly above the mucker where the mucker was operating and look at the area directly above it to see if there's any loose material directly above the mucker that could potentially release and actually cause damage to the mucker. And I think it was nice to get that footage because after that, we went to the, the, the muck, the level below, actually show that footage to the mucker operator. He could see what was going on above him. And we, we gave him the opportunity to also fly the drone as well. And he seemed to really enjoy that. And he had never flown a drone before. And uh, it seemed like he did a good job. We also had one of our geologists, Nicole Russell, she had never flown a drone before and she was able to successfully fly the Helios 2 as well. So I think that speaks a lot because a lot of the drone technology we've seen, it's been difficult for people who don't have any experience to just pick it up and actually safely and successfully fly it. So for them to pick up something they've never done before and fly it underground, which is a very harsh environment, and you still have an intact drone at the end of the day, that's, that's, that says a lot. It's very important. So. Uh, today with the Helios 2, we did even more work with it. We investigated the catwalks at the mill because we have areas where the welds are breaking along the tanks. These tanks are over 12 meters above the ground, so it's really hard for us to safely access them and look at them. But with the Helios 2, we were able to look at those areas, look at where the welds are breaking. Now we can give this footage to our, our mill maintenance guys and say, hey, these areas need to be repaired. These are the areas that need to be looked at. That saves us a lot of work and it made, it made it a lot safer for us to go and look at it as well. Underground, we flew the 50-50 again to see if any more overbreak had occurred last night because at the, the next stope adjacent to it, we had shot a raise. And with how loose the material is in the 480 stope, I think that we could take the two photogrammetric models from yesterday and today, compare them to each other and see where overbreak has occurred and dropped material into the stope below. My impression of the Helios 2 is that it's a lot easier to fly. I like the camera on it. It's got a nice 4K camera. The, the resolution the imagery looked really nice. You're able to like look at a target and focus on it and really capture what we need to look at. I think the quality of the imagery is really high, especially because you can adjust the lighting. And uh, I think that makes a big difference with the ultimate 3D model, the photogrammetric model. The areas that we had you guys fly in were very challenging in our regard, uh, but you guys seemed to fly with ease without any problems. We didn't have any crashes, we didn't lose any drones, which is very impressive. 
we didn't lose communication with a lot of the drones either, so I think it worked out really well. I think that Barrett Golden Future with the Helios 2, the geologists, the engineers, they're going to fly into these areas that we can access safely. They could do photogrammetry, build photogrammetric models. We can do ore control, stope reconciliation, structural mapping, identify hazardous areas, go into areas that have been shot, but that there's too much gas, so we can't enter that area. They can safely inspect that area, see if it's safe for anybody else to enter. There's, there's so many use cases. The Elios 2, I would highly recommend it to other companies, to other miners. Here's something that you can take off the shelf. You could fly it underground in one of the harshest environments that we work in, and you can capture quality footage, go inspect areas. It's safe to interact with. It has a nice cage where if it did by accident run into somebody or collide with something, it's not going to cause any damage to the drone or, to, or hurt that person it runs into. You can hand to somebody who's never used it and they're going to be successful with it. So yes, I would recommend it.